Hi, this is Kim from the Affairs of Living blog. Um, I'm super excited because I'm doing my first video post and it's about food storage. Now, I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but to me, it's really important because if I'm spending the money and the time on making quality food, I don't want to put it in a bad container. Um, some of my favorite containers are containers that are made of glass. A uh, benefit of glass is that it doesn't leach odor or bacteria into your food like plastic can. Um, plastic is absorbent, it's permeable, which means that bacteria, odor, colors, scents, all that stuff can get into the plastic and then actually go back into your food, especially if you're heating that container in the microwave. Um, some of my favorite glass containers are um, canning jars. A uh, variety of sizes. I love the pint size or these small baby food jars are awesome, uh, especially for small salad dressings or dips or sauces. Um, larger canning jars like the two pint or the quart are really good for things like smoothies, for soups, because they have these great covers that go on. Um, they're totally watertight. Uh, you can easily get new rings and canning jar tops at grocery stores or department stores or anywhere that sells canning jars. There's a lot of places. Um, they're also great because if you can, you can use them for that too. <laughs> um, you don't have to buy them. You can just reuse those old jars you have for nut butters or sauces or salsas or whatever you purchase in a glass jar. Um, I also really like Pyrex jars or containers. They come in a variety of sizes. They have um, all sorts of different, you know, rectangles, squares, whatever sort of fits in your cupboards and in your fridge. Pyrex is really cool because you can put it in the oven, you can put it in the freezer. If you choose to microwave, you can put it in the microwave as well. Um, the one thing about it is that they aren't totally watertight, which can be sort of irritating because if you need to travel with your food, they can leak a lot. So I recommend putting down some plastic wrap or something and then just putting the cover right on top and it makes it a little bit more watertight. Um, another container that I really love, and I just found out about these, it's by a company called Glasslock, and they come again in a variety of sizes. These cannot go in the oven, but they have these really cool tops that uh, sort of lock on, and then in there, where it's all green, is this rubber gasket, and it makes this totally waterproof seal, which is awesome. So again, if you need to travel with your food, uh, like many of us with allergies do, you aren't going to end up with a leaky container in your purse, which is key. <laughs> because I think, you know, for those of us with allergies, you have to bring your own food with you a lot of places. It's just how it is. So it's nice to have a container that you know isn't going to leak all over the place. Um, along with the fact that they come in a variety of sizes, they also have ones that have these really cool handles on top. So you can just like lift it up and take it with you, which I think is just ingenious. Um, the fourth thing I'm showing you is a food saver. Now a food saver is this uh, appliance. Plug it in and you use these plastic bags with it and it basically vacuum seals your food. So you are putting it in plastic, uh, which if you're extremely chemically sensitive may be a problem for you. Uh, for me, I'm able to handle this just fine. Um, I really love the food saver. I think it's great. Uh, here's some pesto from last summer that I froze in an ice cube tray and then food saved. So it's totally vacuum sealed. You can actually keep things in your freezer for a few years vacuum sealed like this, which sounds crazy, but it's true because all the oxygen is gone. Um, it's really sanitary. You can reuse the bags um, a few times over if you don't heat them. Um, and it's kind of a, a great way to store things because you can you know, freeze things flat, so you just end up with all these really easy to thaw, easy to move around, easy to store things for your freezer. Uh, you can actually refrigerate things in there too, which is another option. Um, Food Saver also, I'm just going to jump out of the frame, makes these containers. These are plastic, but they're BPA free, and uh, there's a little tube that hooks into this, so you can actually vacuum seal all the air out of these containers as well which is another really sanitary way to keep things nice and fresh. Um, these are just some gluten-free breadcrumbs that I had from some failed baking experiments. And it's an awesome way to keep them fresh uh, because it's totally um, free of oxygen. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I know for me, 
Uh, one of the reasons that I really feel strongly about keeping the food fresh is the fact that if you can keep your food fresher for as long as possible, you're going to save money because you don't need to throw away food that's gone bad. Your food is going to taste better and you're protecting yourself against bacteria. And if you are recovering from any kind of long-term illness, if you have issues with Canada albicans, or for anyone really, you don't want to inadvertently make yourself sick because you grew some funky bacteria in your leftover pasta. It just, it's not a good idea. So um, I hope this was helpful, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to do more video posts because it's fun. Um, okay, enjoy.